Coming up on UT10 News in HD, students dance to fight violence. We will also follow a former student who is battling a life-threatening disease. Plus, our own Heather Klatt has highlights from a blowout game at Savage. Your news in 10 minutes starts now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mackenzie Keeline. And I'm Jason Ozenball. The fallout from the Deadspin article continues for former UT track coach Kevin Hadzel. Reporter Stephanie Spencer is live in the newsroom with updates on the story. And Steph, I saw Hadzel on WNWO over the weekend, and he was denying that he sexually harassed anyone. That's right, Mackenzie. Hadsell denies he had any inappropriate relationships with some of his runners, but did say he drank at practices and behaved unprofessionally. The Toledo Blade reported that text messages included in the article were between Hadsell and former UT All-American Emma Kurtz. Kurtz turned her phone over voluntarily in December, initiating an investigation into Hadsell by the university. Runners currently on the team are preparing for the spring season under assistant coach Ari Fisher, and she says this situation has only made the team stronger. It's unfortunate with what happened here, but I think it, it's just adding a chip on their shoulder. They're embracing it. Like this past weekend, they ran some really good 5K times and just showed them that, you know, we can, we're a team that handles adversity. I contacted Kurtz for a response, and she said she did her part and is moving on with her life. The university considers the matter closed and says they would have fired Hadsell if he had not resigned. Live from the UT10 newsroom, I'm Stephanie Spencer. Thank you, Stephanie. The university hosted a strike dance last Wednesday protesting violence against women. Over 30 students, faculty, and staff danced in the South Lounge of the Student Union. This dance was used to raise awareness on campus. And I myself have had issues with emotion and violence, and dancing is empowerment. Anybody can dance whenever you want, wherever you want. Nobody can stop you. Over 193 other countries participated in the strike dance on the 14th. Event coordinator Elsie Bearcat says Valentine's Day was selected because it is a day about love. Students now have access to a website that quickly matches them to an internship. Kara Harris explores a new program here on campus. Intern in Ohio is a service being exclusively offered to UT students. The site matches students to employers through a series of questions. What it does is it basically matches the seven best fits for a particular job and then the employer and the students decide if they want to engage. The program first began in Michigan and is being launched in Ohio. A Michigan-based software firm called DeGirati runs the site. Look at ways in which we could better engage college students so that we could we could retain a larger percentage of college graduates. Incident in Ohio will go statewide next month. Students can log on now to their website to get started. I'm Kiera Harris for UT 10 News. A 2011 UT graduate is fighting for her life. Reporter Colby Cratch has more on how the community is showing support. UT's women's basketball team was playing for more than a win on Saturday, but to find a cure. They had inspiration from a former teammate who's battling cancer for the second time. Ashley Barrett was first diagnosed with leukemia last April. After a six-month remission, Barrett received devastating news three weeks ago that her cancer has returned. We went through the emotions of thinking she's in remission, now she's okay, but then to get that phone call that it's hit again really struck home with our, our team. Rocket teams have been sporting pink letter A's on their uniforms to raise awareness. Barrett's fiance, Ben Pike, says there has been an overwhelming amount of support. You know, she'll be getting Facebook inboxes and letters and cards and things from people she's never met before um, from, from back in Toledo and from the university. So. Um, it means a lot to her and she just appreciates all the support. The next fundraiser for Barrett will be April 19th at the Connections Comedy Club. I'm Colby Cratch for UT10 News. UT's very own version of Comic Con took place over the weekend. Almost a thousand gamers joined forces at the Student Union for the 28th Annual Bash Convention. BashCon activities range from board game championships to controlling virtual robots in pods. Vendors were at the convention selling items for you to add to your gaming collections. The event offers gamers a unique way to connect. You know, there are people who don't like sports and don't like singing and playing instruments. We like to escape in a new world with our minds and our dice. BashCon was free for students, faculty, and staff with their Rocket IDs. UT social work majors are volunteering to help the disabled. Reporter Morgan McDougall shows how the program is making a difference. 
Assistance Dogs for Achieving Independence has partnered up with UT to give back to the community. Dr. Hoy began the program in 2011 by training Kennedy, a golden retriever, to become a service dog. Our students were really helpful working with him, socializing him, helping him practice some of his commands. The program has expanded with students helping train over four dogs. The dogs are trained to learn how to open doors, pull wheelchairs, and assist with other needs. So we work with people who have all kinds of challenges moving around at home, at school, at work. If you're interested in working with the Assistance Dog Program and working with dogs such as Ricky, please contact Dr. Hoy at 419-530-4208. I am Morgan McDougall for UT10 News. Reporter Evan Madden was at a special competition last week and got some laughs of his own. Seven amateur comedians, including yours truly, met here in the Student Union Auditorium to compete in Alpha Kappa Psi's fifth annual Last Rocket Standing. With over 250 people in attendance, each contestant is given roughly seven minutes on stage while critiqued by four judges. It's always been an uh, AK Psi tradition, and um, you know, sometimes we uh, use it for philanthropy. This year we're just using it to strengthen our chapter. Brad Wenzel, a local stand up veteran, won for the second year in a row. As his prize, he will be performing at the Funny Bone Comedy Club in March. Though he has done plenty of stand-up, the presence of judges is a game changer. Normally it's just get laughs and that's all you're worried about and then it's just an added thing like, oh, I hope this table of people likes what I'm doing. For those of you who missed Last Rocket Standing last week, you can expect it to return here to the Student Union next year. From UT10 News, I'm Evan Madden. It was a quiet weekend in Rocket Country. Most of the teams played an out-of-state contest, but the women's basketball team made some noise on Saturday as they took on Kent State. UT playing in front of 5,700 people for the seventh annual Rockets for a Cure. The women wearing Faith Not Fear on the back of their t-shirts, showing their support for former teammate Ashley Barrett. Starting off strong, Indola Dort hits Ina Zanagara down court for the layup, putting Toledo up 7-0. The Rockets went on a 19-point run before Kent's Amber Dunlap sinks a jumper, bringing the score to 28-4. However, Toledo's defense fit to a T. Nama Shafir with the around the back to Zanagara. They didn't score off that one, but later Brianna Jones gets a rebound, puts two more up for the Rockets as they lead by 26 at the half. Moving on to the second, Michelle Hayes goes up for the two and gets a foul, putting Toledo ahead by 45, their biggest lead of the night. And with seconds left, Riley McCormick goes over the top to Anna Capitoso, who adds her two cents to the final score of 82-45. The victory over Kent was the 100th career win for the seniors, but it was a complete team effort. Everybody that came in did something really positive. And uh, that's what you want to see out of your team is there some of those turnovers are because they were trying to make something happen. And, you know, I, I didn't see lack of effort on the court. Those are things that really bother me. And I, I really saw great effort, great enthusiasm, great intensity. And that's what you want to see. When it comes to running, breaking your personal record is always a big accomplishment. It is even more impressive when a meet record is broken in the process. Sophomore Mackenzie Shinovsky finished second out of 113 runners in the 5,000 meter at the Grand Valley State Big Meet. She was one of three runners to break the meet record of 16 minutes and 28.71 seconds and set a new personal record for herself of 1625.38. It felt really awesome because like I've never even gotten under 1730 before just to like PR by like over a minute and a half and like I was just hoping to get in the 16s and then I got like under 16.30 which was like my goal for like the whole year and it's just pretty cool because it felt kind of like effortless almost. Thanks Heather, that's really a great accomplishment for her. That's it for UT10 News. For the latest breaking news from campus, go to our website, ut10news.com. And you can always watch our award-winning newscast on YouTube and Facebook, where you can get caught up on all of your campus news whenever you want. For Heather Klatt, Jason Osenball, and all of our crew, I'm Mackenzie Keeline. Have a great week and stay tuned for more news from the UT campus.